What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego back with some more boxing. So, Ego's fighting words. I told you I had another one. And it comes from Guillermo El Chacal Rigandel, aka the Jackal. That's a dope ass nickname if you think about it. El Chacal, the Jackal. Guillermo El Chacal. Anyway, I just like it and I think it sounds kind of epic. Anyway, Rigandel posted this meme picture. I was already going to do a video about Rigandel. I posted some photos I edited on my Instagram and then Rigandau and Gary Hyde liked them. So I was going to already make a video, but let me just add this to the mix. So Rigandau posted a meme. So for you guys who aren't internet savvy or social media savvy, a meme is basically kind of like a caption photo. A lot of times you see them on Twitter and Instagram. Anyway, someone superimposed Nonito Donaire's face looking kind of frightful under a bed hiding. And then they put El Chacal, Rigandau, like standing over him, so he, like he's hiding from the boogeyman or a killer or some shit. And I'm a huge movie buff, so if you know what this scene is from, um, please do share because I can't um, seem to think of where they got this picture. If it's from a movie, it looks like it's from a movie or something. And Rigandau posted this, and he said to all Donaire fans. Now, fast forward, somebody seen this on Instagram. And they mentioned Nonito Donaire basically to get a response. And this is the conversation. It says, Nonito Donaire, yo, Rigandau is going in on you on Instagram. He did a meme of you hiding under the bed from him. What's up, champ? Answer that call. Donaire responded with this. He mentioned Rigandau. If he wants to act like a child, let him. I got better stuff to do. Besides, why he still want to fight me if he beat me? Then the person that notified Donaire said this. I don't know, but I'm one of your biggest supporters. I know you could beat him if you're focused. Let's give him what he wants. This is Donaire's response. He has to come up to my weight or forever let him make memes, shaking my head. Now, personally, I don't particularly like this response from Nonito Donaire. And it's nothing against Nonito Donaire. I'm a huge supporter, even uh, with the questionable last fight with Darchinian and the loss to Rigandau. As you guys know, I represent the Bay. The Bay Area is my home. And Nonito Donaire is also from the Bay. However, on my channel, I got to keep it real, fair, and uncut. And my honest opinion is it doesn't look like he's too interested in a Rigandau fight. Nonito Donaire is a huge warrior. He has a hell of a chin, probably an underrated chin if you think about it. And I think the rematch needs to happen. I think to put that bed, put that to bed or put it to rest, a Rigandau Donaire part two is needed. Or it's going to forever look like you ducked him and you didn't want to fight him again after the first fight. It was already being said in the YouTube boxing community and boxing forums that you were ducking him to begin with when he first emerged and he was going through the pro ranks. And you had an alibi at that time. You could just at least say he hasn't fought nobody. His net worth is not worthy of a, a main event with me. But now your stock is dropping a little because he beat you. And you look kind of suspect in the Darchinian rematch, a fighter that you clearly starched and stretched in the first fight. So your stock's dropping a little bit. And I just feel like there's a level of intensity missing from Nonito Donaire. And boxing is not that sport. Boxing um, is one of those sports where you have to really apply yourself. I've seen tons of fighters with tremendous skills, tremendous speed, power. And if they're not on their P's and Q's, there's somebody who wants it more than you. How bad do you want it? There's always going to be someone who's at the bottom of the ladder. You're at the top, whether it's because of your father's namesake, like Chavez Jr., whether it's because you were promoted great by your, your management, like Donaire and HBO, and they showed them tons of love. But there's always going to be someone looking at the bottom of the ladder. And to me, what you have to do is make sure you're always on top of things, always training hard, always hungry and you can't let that that fire be extinguished and die down because as soon as you do then you're vulnerable you're vulnerable for the upset so i really don't like uh donaire's response to this i, I feel like he, he's kind of sweeping under the rug like oh it's a loss why does he want to fight me if he already beat me like what kind of shit is that like what kind of like i said nonito donaire no problem with him i'm still a fan but I don't think that's the right type of attitude, especially that you're comfortable posting this via a Twitter tweet where people can see. I feel like at least save face and be like, whatever. And then on top of that, you responded again 
talking about he has to come up to your weight. Like, you were able to make this weight all this time, and then you lose to Riga now. Now, all of a sudden, you can't make the weight. So, it just seems a little bit suspect on Donaire's side. And like I said, I just hope that fire is still burning with Donaire, where he still wants to be the best. He now has a child that he has to look after. He has a family with his wife, Rachel. And I think there's a lot of great fights in it for him, but I think he should really avenge that loss and see and prove to the world that, hey, I'm the better fighter. I'm the better man. I had an off night. I had a lot going on with my wife being pregnant or his shoulder spur injury or whatever because he's since had that shoulder surgery he was talking about. So if you lose this time, you fucking lost. That's two in a row. You lost. Well, I mean, it's not fucking Rochambeau, rock, paper, scissors, where you could just best out of three, best out of six. You know what I mean? If you lose, then you lose. So I don't know. Maybe he realizes that or he felt something or seen something in the first fight where he wants to stay clear from that. But I would much rather see Donaire against uh, Rigano part two than Donaire versus someone like Walter or, or some of the names that I've heard. There's other great fights for him, but to me, the fighters like Carl Frotch with the George Groves, I made a video about that earlier. You need to put that to bed. Pacquiao with Bradley, put that to bed. And the thing that is so mind-boggling, I really feel like some boxing fans are quote-unquote fans. Like, they don't really follow the sport. They have favorites, like we all do. And they don't really follow it or have not followed it for quite some time because there's a lot of great fights where the fighter is crucified, literally crucified in the public, in boxing forums, on YouTube, like Floyd Mayweather. He's a guy you love to hate. And he's literally crucified for the Castillo fight, which was a tough fight. I don't care how you scored it. It was a tough fight. Point blank. Tough fight with um, Mayweather and Castillo. Mayweather said the same thing Donaire said. Oh, I had a problem. I had a rotator cuff injury, a hurt shoulder, basically. And he rematched the dude the same year and clearly and concisely beat him. And people to this day, even though that fight was over a dec over a decade ago, you got to realize some of you guys, let's say you're 19, that means you were fucking nine. You were watching Teletubbies or Power Rangers or whatever the fuck your generation is. You were nine years old if you're 19 years old. That's a long time ago. And it was over 10 years. I don't know the exact math, but it was probably like 12 or 13 right around there. And people still hold that over Mayweather's head. Like, yo, you lost. You should have 45 and 1 or whatever. You should have lost to uh, Castillo. And he avenged that loss the same year. Yet, you got guys like Donaire, who seems like he possibly could beat Reagan now. He's bigger than him. He has speed himself. He has power. He has a chin. But you're not really making a strong case, and you're not really sounding confident. And we just accept that. Like, oh, fuck it. He's a boring fighter. He's not a big draw, so fuck it. A rematch doesn't need to take place. Fuck that. Like I said, if, if you want to um, criticize fighter A for avenging his loss and still hold it over a decade later, hold it over his head like you should have lost that fight, how can you say the same thing for see another fighter like Donaire who just last year lost convincingly in a superior fashion, in a superior performance by Rigondeaux. And if he doesn't fight, then you're okay with not rematching him. So, like I said, fuck the bullshit, fuck the politics. I like both fighters. I like Rigondeaux. I like Donaire. I just want to see the fucking fight. I want to see the rematch. Put it to rest. Um, maybe even have a stalemate if Donaire can beat Rigondeaux. Let me know what you guys think. Does Donaire have a chance to beat him? Is his fire extinguished? Does he still want to fight? Do you think Reagan now got lucky? L let me know what you guys think. As always, hate, comment, or subscribe. Till next video, it's Ego signing off.